Well, hello there. I see you're stuck on Earth here with me. What's your name? Hello, Mark. A daydreamer. Mmm. As a child, they told us that daydreaming was a waste of time. But you and I. Hi, this is Karen. And I'm going to interrupt myself in the app to talk about the app. This is Stuck on Earth, and it is amazing. It's the ultimate travel guide for photographers, for explorers, and daydreamers. So, how does it work? I hear you wondering. Well, let's take a quick look at all the features here. They are incredible. This is the main map, the world at a glance. From here, you can zoom into any level you want to find the most amazing places on Earth to explore and visit. And, of course, it features fantastic photography. The app uses a combination of algorithm plus crowdsourcing and curation by an actual human to make sure you get to see the best of the best photos. You can see all kinds of photo details, and you can even say, show me where this is on the map, and it'll take you to that exact location zoomed right down to the street level. You can pinch and zoom into any area you want to. Here, Trey's zooming into Iceland to show you an example. As you do this, pins will appear, and when you click on a pin, you'll be able to see the thumbnail. Click on the thumbnail, and it'll take you to a full screen view, where you can start building your own trips. So here's a really cool thing about planning trips. Let's say you find a place you want to go. Add this to a new trip. We'll call this one Iceland Here I Come. Trey's typing that in. And as soon as you add this photo to a trip, it's available to you offline. Now, this is huge, because it means it's accessible when you don't have internet. Genius! So, keep scrolling through, and once you see another photo you like, click Add to My Trips. And that one is saved for you offline, too. And then later, you can even rearrange the photos in any order you like. Let's talk about discovery. So, this is your home page, totally customized for you every time you fire up the app. And at the bottom are all sorts of top 50 lists to give you ideas, to inspire you, so you can figure out places you might want to visit someday. Also, as you pan and zoom around the map, you'll see different top 50 lists appear, like top 50 spots in Yosemite, or even Thomas Hawk's top 50 secret spots in San Francisco. This is also a great way for you to discover and follow great photographers from all over the planet. So down at the bottom, we're looking at the top 50 nature category list, and we've chosen the top 50 waterfalls on Earth. As you flip through different photos, occasionally you might see one that strikes your fancy and you want to know more about it. So then you can open up the side panel, look at the photographer, this is John in LA, and click follow. Voila! Now you're following John, and all of his photos that are geolocated and stuck on Earth will be available to you. The whole app will change based upon the personality you choose at the beginning. For instance, if you choose the photography personality type, then clicking on the lens in the upper left will give you access to a free ebook that's full of all kinds of great photography tips. If you choose the daydreamer, then every time you click on the moon and stars in the upper left corner, you'll magically be transported to a cool place somewhere on Earth. Like here, the Acropolis in Greece. So, now that you know the basics of Stuck on Earth, I'll leave the rest for you to uncover on your own. And maybe you'll discover that your life can be filled with beautiful and awesome experiences. So come on in and join me. I'll be waiting for you inside the app. We have lots to explore together.